Hey, this is Dan with Easy Worship Training, and today I'm going to show you an easy way to create an announcement loop using an Easy Worship presentation. So creating presentations, looping announcement presentations in Easy Worship is a pretty easy process, and there's a lot of things that you can do with the slides to create your presentations. So we'll just jump right in. Uh, when I go to presentations, I can create an, an announcement loop. To do so, I can right click in the presentation area and click on new presentation, or I can click to edit an existing presentation. Uh, the other option is I can click the plus button at the bottom of the presentation area to open up the presentation editor. I'm just going to name this presentation to start out with, and I'll just name it uh, Announcements. So as you can see, the first slide that opens up when you create a presentation is a title slide. So you have an area to type in a title and a subtitle. Uh, I'm not going to use the title slide uh, for my announcements, so I'm going to click on the Theme button on the toolbar and you can see there's five different slide themes. We have title, title and content, content only, blank, and scripture. So for this slide I'm just going to use content only. Now I want to set a background for this slide before I start. Uh, so I'm going to go to the media tab or the media button on the toolbar. I'm just going to use an image so I'll change to my images. And for this one I'm going to use the coffee and donuts image. Now I'm not just going to click on it. If I click on it, that will just add it as an element to my slide. But I want to use this image as my background. Um, so to remove this, I can just hit delete on my keyboard. And I'm going to go back into my images under media. And I'm going to drag and drop it onto the slide on the left hand side where it says words. Just make sure I'm on the actual number one slide. If I'm above or below, you can see a black line, which means you're not on top of the slide. So drop it on the slide, and you can see that it creates that image as the background. So for my content, I'm going to click in the content field and type in the text that I want for this slide. I'm just going to say, come early next week. for coffee and donuts. Alright, so I don't want this to be across the image. I just want it to be in the upper left hand corner. So I'm going to click on the slide and that gives me an editable text box. Now I'm also left aligned and top aligned. Now I want this to be centered on both. So I'm going to click center and center there. And then I'm going to click the uh, little box in the bottom right corner and drag this text box up into the left corner. Alright, I also have a bullet on this text which I don't want so I can remove that if I go to the inspector in the top right hand corner and then click on bullets under text. And I can change this bullet style to none and it removes that bullet. Alright, so I'm finished with this slide. That's all I want to do for that. So I can add a new slide by clicking the plus button in the bottom left hand corner. And now you see I have a title content slide, or actually the content only, which is the same uh, slide that I created earlier. So on this slide I'm just going to go back to media to set my background. And on this one I'm going to use the highway image and drag it over to slide number two and drop it on top of that. And now you see we have uh, the background for that slide. I'm going to click back on content for slide two and type in the content that I want. Be sure to sign up for our missions trip. Alright, same thing. I have um, it's centered here, but it's top aligned, so I'm going to center it. Uh, actually, it's left aligned there, too. So I'm going to center that. 
Uh, I want to remove the bullet. So I'm going to click on the slide to select the text box. And I'm on bullets, so I can change that to none in the inspector. So that removed the bullet there. Now I can also go in and change the font uh, if I want to change the font for these um, for these text elements. Um, that's good. We'll just leave it on that one. All right, so I am done with that slide. So I'm going to go create a third slide. Again, it's a content only slide. Uh, this one I am going to go to media again and choose another background and drag it onto slide number three. All right, so we have our background there. I'm going to click on content and type in the text again. Uh, we'll just say, come join us for worship night this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Okay. Again, I'm going to click on the text box to select it and go to bullets and remove the bullet. All right. And I'll just readjust this text down a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Again, you can do a lot of things with the text if you want. Um, I'm just going to keep it simple for now. And we're going to go to another slide, slide four. This one I'm going to actually change the theme. So I'm going to click on the theme button on the toolbar. And we're going to change it to title and content. All right, so you can see now I have two text boxes. So in the title, I'm going to type in my title. And we'll call it the best band. And in the content, I'm going to type in don't miss this concert. All right. Again, I'm going to click on this text box for don't miss this concert and I'm going to remove the bullet. Um, I'm also going to center these and the title is already centered. Um, I'm going to go to media to select the background and I'm going to use this concert background. So I'm going to click on the best band, the title um, text box and we're going to adjust that text to be larger. We want it to be nice and big. So we'll go up to let's say 110. Okay. Now this other text box, I can move this up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to underline it. All right. So we have some a different type of slide here. All right. Now these are the only slides I'm going to create for this announcement loop. But I want this presentation to loop because again it's an announcement loop. So what I'm going to do is go to the inspector, click on presentation, and tell it to loop the presentation. Now I also need to set the timings for the slides. So if I go to slide, you can see that we can advance slide on click automatically or delayed. So I'm going to do automatically and this will be minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. So I want each one to be 10 seconds. So I'll set that and click apply to theme. Now right now I have the title content slide selected. Um, so that's the only slide with that theme. So right now if I click on a different slide which is content only you can see that that is not selected. So I can change that one again to automatically in 10 seconds and apply to theme. So now each slide, because the other, the first three slides are all content, they take the theme that we set for the automatically advance. If you want all of your slides to be the same speed, you can actually change the master slide if you go to the slides button and click the master slide button at the bottom. 
here you can select the master slide, set your timings, say automatically, for 10 seconds, and that will set it for all slide themes. Then you don't have to go to each one individually uh, to set the timing, if they're all going to be the same timing. So we can click the master button to return to our slides and then go back to words tab if you want. And we can see that all of our slides are advancing automatically for 10 seconds. And if we go back to presentation, I already checked loop presentation. So I'm going to close the inspector and click OK on the presentation. All right, so now we have our announcement loop created. We can drag and drop that into our schedule. And when we're ready, we can go live to it. And you can see that it starts playing that slide. And after 10 seconds, it will advance to the next slide. And then when it gets finished with the fourth slide, it will automatically loop. So again, there's lots of different things that you can do to create your slides. You can use different uh, videos, backgrounds, text, uh, all kinds of things. Any media that you use does have to be added to your media tab in the resources. All right, so that is creating announcement loops in Easy Worship using the Easy Worship presentations. I hope you've learned something. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.